Just about to start. Where am I? How did I get here? You don't know how you got here. The last thing I remember was I was writing. I have a deadline. What were you writing? I don't remember. Let's start with what you do remember. Who are you on the deadline for? Some Hollywood producer. I had a contract with him. I was way past my deadline. His name was Finelli. Mr. Finelli. Look, I don't know what problems you have in your life, and quite frankly, I don't give a shit. I want to see you in my office, 2 p.m. Look, I realize that I'm behind, but be on time. I'll be there, I'll be there. Asshole. What about your troubles with your apartment manager? The guy didn't exactly give you a vote of confidence when we asked him about you. That dirty old man, he's a gun nut, you know? Sanders, I can pay you on Friday. Alistair. Just like I said it would. It happens to be Friday. It is? Yeah. Really? Really? Friday? How long have I been asleep? I'm sorry. Look, I have an appointment with my producer today. I'll pay everything this evening. After all, it will still be Friday, won't it? Okay, just because it's you. Thanks. Between the two of us, you yeah. know. Something stinks here. What exactly do you mean, Mr. Sanders? Take a shower.
Yes? Uh, hello, sir. My name is Lavinia. I'm a graduate film student at UCLA. Okay. My class is studying um, successful professionals, and since you're one of the greatest contemporary screenwriters, I was hoping that uh, maybe you would meet with me and uh, discuss your work. Well, look, I'm, uh, I'm right in the middle of a big project right now. It would mean so much to me. Not so much, huh? Well, um, maybe, I, okay. When can I meet you? Um. Oh, shit. Mr. Bain? Yes? Mr. Bain, are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. What were you saying? I was saying, um, can we meet at your office? Uh, no, no, not my office. Let's meet someplace nicer. Um, how about that Italian restaurant near the campus? Uh, 8 p.m.? Yes, Mr. Bain. Uh, 8 p.m. it is. I will see you there. And thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you there. My suitcase with this. Okay. Alistair's here. Well, let him in. Come, come in. Well, you're making progress. At least this time you're only 15 minutes late. I didn't expect you to show it all. I'm really sorry about that. My watch is broken and you wouldn't imagine, imagine the traffic today. You're right, I wouldn't. Sit down. Thanks. You know, Alistair, I gotta make something perfectly clear. Look, I fully realize that I'm behind schedule, but this project behind is like... Behind schedule? Behind schedule? Like I said, I'm working on it. I really am working on it. Behind... Okay, well, let's just review that phrase for one minute. Behind schedule. Look, yes, like I said, really look, I'm working care. on it. I don't care about your reasons. You know what I care about? I care about your script, that you are three months late delivering. That is three months behind schedule, my friend. I'm making a lot of progress, actually. Actually, it's almost finished. Great. Well, that is great news. That's really good, because you got two weeks to deliver it. That's two weeks, or you're fired. Fired? You can't do that to me. As a matter of fact, I can. We already identified a replacement. Alistair, if you didn't used to be one of the best writers in Hollywood, I would have fired you two months ago. Now, I'm doing you a favor here. Yeah, right. Water, something muffin. I don't want you to die in my office. I'm not gonna die. Like I said, the script is almost ready. Two weeks is plenty of time. Great. That is perfect, because that's probably just enough time to put the finishing touches on it. See you in two weeks. Alistair, one more thing. Yeah. Take a shower. I know you don't like it, but I need another advance. But, Mr. Bain, I, I, I'm sorry, but I thought that you were aware. Aware of what? That last month's payment was final. Final? What's that supposed to mean? Look, I understand that this might come as a bit of a shock. I mean, I, uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, I was trying to say that... For fuck's sake, just say it! Alistair, it's in your contract. 
the advances that we've been giving you for the last two years constitute your full wage. That's it. You're tapped out. Now, to be exact, we still owe you another $22.47. Then may I have the $22.47? Please. But, um, the total doesn't include taxes, which means that you actually owe us money. I'm so sorry. Thank I you, Louis. No, I, um, maybe. It's really kind of you. Usual for me. Let me ask you something. What would you say if one of your customers owed you, I don't know, seven hundred dollars? The management sucks. Seriously, Jack, why do you think I come here? Certainly not for the refined um. There's been a guy uh, coming here looking for you. What guy? My management may suck, but I can smell trouble here. What time is it? Eight. Gotta run. Oh, Alistair, are you gonna pay for that? Yeah, yeah, I'm good for it. Yeah, that's what you always say. Who doesn't? Seems like a place to be. You some kind of celebrity? Uh, not really. Used to be a long time ago. Is this cab number 666? Yes. Why? I'm well, just wondering. Not that I believe in any of that anti-Christ stuff. Well, in times like these, it seems rather appropriate, don't you think? Appropriate? I find it rather unusual. Well, you don't have to believe in all that anti-Christ stuff to see what's happening. May those who have eyes see and let those who have ears hear. All right, man. You owe me $9.87. Hey, man, you owe me 13 cents. I gave you a $10 bill. 13 cents? Man, get the fuck out of here. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Hi. Angela. Do you have a reservation? No, I'm sorry, I forgot to call. I'm sorry, sir, but we are all booked tonight. We don't have any table left. Um, that young woman over there, I believe she's waiting for me. So, tell me about your first meeting with this girl, uh... Lavinia? Yes. Lavinia. You must be Lavinia, is that right? Oh, yes, of course. Mr. Bain. I'm sorry. Please. Wow, I guess I had a preconceived notion about what a Hollywood writer is supposed to look like. Silly, isn't it? No, no, don't worry about it. it happens all the time. It's such an honor to be here, sitting with one of Hollywood's greatest screenwriters. Well, thank you, I appreciate it, but I think you're exaggerating just a little. Are you hungry? I mean, we don't, uh, we don't have to eat if you don't feel like it. Oh, actually, I'm starred. I think I'll have the uh, angel hair puttanesca. Looks good. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds very expensive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I mean tasty. Really can't argue with that choice. I have read all of your work, and it's absolutely amazing thought that one man could have written all those blockbusters. Oh, it's not, it's not that difficult. Uh, it comes quite easily after a while. I would, I would love to watch you work. Actually, there isn't, there isn't much to see. It's really quite boring, actually. Just sitting there in the room watching a genius work his magic would be a dream come true. Now you are definitively overestimating my abilities. And please, call me Alistair. seem to find my credit card. Oh, that's bad. I mean, you had to call the bank immediately. You wouldn't want someone using your cards. I was thinking the same thing. I'm pretty sure, though, I, I know where it is. Um, I just don't know if I have enough cash on me. Oh. Leave it. I'll pay the rest. It's my treat. I mean, it's been such an amazing evening so far. You're so cool and down to earth and a great Hollywood writer, real life. Oh, I really couldn't allow you to do that. Of course you could. How much is it? It's $120. You know, they, they know me well here. I mean, I can always come back, pay tomorrow. It's a small price to pay for dinner with your idol. I insist that uh, you allow you allow me to make this up to you. Well, if you insist on making it up to me, you could let me come to your office tomorrow. Oh, I mean, <laughs> uh, sure, but um, I'm warning you, it's it's not going to be glamorous or exciting at all. Let me be the judge of that. can do for you, man? How does this work? 
Uh, I've never done this. <laughs> well, you know, there's a first time for everybody. It's real simple. You just give me the item you want to pawn, I tell you what it's worth to me. I can get it back, right? Sure, sure. Uh, it's like a 30-day loan, plus interest and fees. Come on, I'm busy here. <sighs> what do you got? What can I get for this? Well, like, since it's not midnight, it's got to be broken. Ten bucks. Ten bucks? Cost me two grand. Well, it's not my problem. It's like broken, okay? Look, I I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay, okay, ten bucks. All right. You sign right here. There you go. Here's your copy. Thanks. Oh, fuck. Oh, bitch. Mr. Sanders, open up. I know you're in there, you old bastard. Oh, fuck's sake. Is it personal? What did I do to you? The door unlocked. Hello? Anybody there? you do, but you don't remember. I'm pretty sure that I would remember you. But you don't. No, I don't. See, like I said, shouldn't you be at home writing that script of yours? What was its name again? I'm still working on that. Oh, right. You didn't even start to write it. How do you... No. No. Hmm. I guess that was rude on my part. 
No, no. I was just wondering how you knew. I mean, everyone thinks it's almost finished. My producer, he gave me two weeks to, to deliver it. Or he'll replace me. That would be a real pity, because your script is going to be great. How do you know that? Are you some sort of visionary? It's all about asking the right questions. I suppose. Problem is, I have writer's block. And not the slightest idea what to write about. You should write about me and our relationship. Really? I could. <laughs> But I don't know anything about you. Well, that makes it even more mysterious, doesn't it? I guess. I really have to leave, Alistair. Huh? It's getting very late. Oh, I almost forgot. I took care of that little rent problem of yours. Rent problem? Could you repeat that? Hey. You want me dead or something? What the fuck are you doing here, man? Jesus, it's not even seven in the goddamn morning. The door was unlocked. You weren't here. Did... Did you see that gorgeous woman? Listen, my friend. I just opened the door, and it was closed. I can assure you that there was no gorgeous woman anywhere in the vicinity. I guess you fell asleep, and I didn't notice you back here at the table. Go home. Get some rest. Hmm? Thanks, Jack. Thanks. Hey. Huh? At least you had a pleasant dream. None of this is making sense to me. You have to follow along very closely. Because a lot of it doesn't make sense to me either. I keep telling you, this is what happened the last few days. No, you woke up in your room the next day. Yes. Yeah, coming. Oh, hmm. Are you feeling well, Mr. Bain? I mean, Alistair? I'm ready to get started. I want to learn as much as I can from you. I'm feeling great. It's just that, uh, I was working all night. Exactly as I imagined it. A creative genius working into the night till exhaustion. So cool. In a filthy hotel where it gets inspiration. Mm. Oh, don't take that the wrong way. It's a compliment. Now leave it. it. It's so much more authentic. I feel like I'm in an old film noir of the 50s, like Touch of Evil. You do know your film history. Oh, I love the old black and white noirs. Like Kiss Me Deadly, Notorious, The Killing, all the dim lighting, and 
femme towels and double crosses. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. You know, I uh, I love those rooms too a lot. Please have a seat. You know, when I first met you, I was expecting someone really glamorous, but I realized how inappropriate that was. To be a real writer, you have to be kind of shabby and a little rough, so that your writing will have real depth and meaning. Well, that's exactly the point. You know, I was a little worried you wouldn't immediately recognize that. I understand perfectly well. You know, I always try to find myself a place that's fitting for the story that I'm writing. Hmm. That's brilliant. So, what is the story? Is it a murder mystery or, or a, maybe a thriller? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, still needs a lot of work. I don't exactly know how it ends. Um, I guess you don't smoke. No. But I, I could start, um, you know, if I'm here long enough. Would you like me to smoke? All the old black and white actors smoked. There's something kind of sexy about smoking. There's plenty of time for that. Would you like a cup of coffee? Um, sure. If you're having one, I'll have one. Thank you. I definitively need one. Mm. You know, instant coffee. You know, quick to prepare so it won't distract me from writing. Mm. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me help you. Please. Uh. It's hard, be careful. Mm. Just goes to show what good manners can achieve. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be good at making coffee. You're good at writing. You know, I, um... I, I always write the beginning last, so I, I won't curtail my creativity. That is really brilliant. Mm -hmm. They don't teach you stuff like that in school. Would you mind if I made some notes? Not at all. Always write the beginning <laughs> last. Look, um, I just got this idea. I need to jot down. Oh, of course. Um, you won't even know I'm here. I, I, I just, uh, be quietly, uh, I, I won't bother any of your papers or, or anything. Lavinia, Mr. Bain's assistant. Can I help you? Uh, yes, Mr. Sanders. Hold on just a moment. It's Mr. Sanders, the hotel manager, as much as I could tell. Tell him, tell him I'm not here. Um, yes, uh, Mr. Bain is very, very busy at the moment. Lavinia, Lavinia. We no, don't. He won't fall for that crap. Believe me, I tried. Uh. What do you want me to tell him? Would you like to be called back? No, 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 no. Give it to me, give it to me. Yes? You know, Mr. Bain, maybe I was too impulsive. You know, I mean, changing the locks and all. I mean... Well, I mean, you could have waited. I, 
Yeah, yeah, but you know, you got nothing to worry about now. I mean, your cute friend has paid your rent for six months. You mean a woman paid my rent? Yeah, she came to the door. I could hardly believe it myself. And what a beauty. Mm-mm. Anyway, I gotta go now. Bye. Lavinia, this is gonna sound a little weird, but... Um, did you pay my rent? Certainly not, Mr. Vane. Why would I do that? That's a good question. Why would you do that? Never mind. Forget I asked. Is there something you want to tell me? No, not really. I, I don't think that would be a good idea. I mean, I think I'm just a bit overworked. It's okay if you're seeing someone. No, I have a perfectly reasonable explanation for all of this. Which would be? Well, well, it's, it's a bit complicated. Look, um, would you mind if we, like, you know, stepped outside? I just need a little fresh air, clear my head. Thank you. After you. Good morning, sir. My name's Captain McCarthy. You must be Alistair Bain, is that right? Yes, I suppose I am. I mean, I most definitely am. You mind if I ask you what your relationship was to this woman? Can I have a closer look? Of course. Running for prints, Jack. Fingerprint it? Why? Routine. Now, I'm gonna ask you a second time. What was your relationship to the woman in the photo? None at all. I've never seen her before, except... Except? In a dream. Or at least I thought it was a dream. In a dream? Yeah. Are you toying with me, Mr. Bain? No. You know, because I'm the last person in the world that you want to mess with, especially today. Mr. Bain, the lady in that photo was brutally murdered last night. Brutal is actually an understatement. We had to use her teeth to make a proper ID. Uh, if, if you don't mind, I'd really rather leave at this point. Lavinia. I don't have a problem with that, as long as you can show me some identification. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. No need to be scared or nervous or anything. You didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Just a joke. No one's being, uh, thank you very much. No one is being accused of anything at this point in time. We're just all doing our job. And I guess you'd be very, uh, Glad if you were Senator Mitchell. Senator Mitchell? Mm-hmm. That's right. The husband. C can I leave now, officer? Please? Of course you can. But not before you tell me what you're doing here with Mr. Bain. I study at UCLA. I was here to interview Mr. Bain. But that was before he got mixed up in a murder. This is not what I signed up for. Lavinia. Well, very sorry to interrupt your studies. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, um, we'll see you again sometime, Miss Lavinia. I hope not. <clears throat> Interview, huh? Yes. Mr. Bain, I don't have a warrant or anything right now, but I think we can make this go a whole lot smoother if I... Maybe, possibly go inside and have an informal chat. 
Just you and me? Yes. Informal? If you don't mind. No. Come on. Okay. Thank you. This way. Go run those prints now. Leave them. It'll afford us some privacy. Have a seat, please, Mr. Bain. Now, I want to make something clear. You don't look like a killer to me. Hmm? Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation. At least, not here. I don't look like one. Simply because I'm not one. Smoke? No, thank you. I'm trying to quit. Hmm. Still. What little evidence we have is pointing directly to you, sir. One bright arrow, right to you. I, um, do you mind if I have a drink? Only if you don't offer me one. Of course, I'm sorry. Um, I just thought that officers didn't drink on duty. <laughs> Don't believe everything you hear. I do most of my drinking on duty. Yeah. Undercover, you know. Undercover? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Now look, I know you're not telling me the whole story here. The point is, there is no story. Like I said, I've never seen that woman before except in that dream. Yes. I know it sounds a little weird, which is exactly why I hesitated to tell you. Little is somewhat of an understatement, considering the phone call. What phone call? Well, she called you right before she was murdered. As a matter of fact, that was the last thing she did. I never received any phone call. You can check that. Been there, done that. And? Well, it's obvious that you don't check your answering machine too often, do you? Suddenly get very hot in here. Well, I guess that exonerates me. And I also have a solid alibi. When she called, I was at Alfonso's having dinner with Lavinia. Seems so. But what was that last thing she said? Hmm? I'm not sure. Something about dreamers. Or dreams. Are the dreams. Yeah, yeah, she said. Are we the dreamers? Are the dreams. You think? That's what she said? I'm quite sure that's what she said. But... 
We'll have the experts check it out, just in case. Look, none of this is making any sense. I mean, why would she call me? And why would I be in danger? I was hoping you were going to tell me. Mr. Bang, you need to listen to me very carefully now, okay? I know you have an alibi and all that, but you're the only person linking us to the killer, you understand? And whether you realize it or not, you're in this shit right up to your neck, my friend. Now, if I were you, I'd start to think. And I do mean think real hard about what your role in this affair is, you understand? This affair? There is no affair. Mr. Bain. You should just calm down, okay? Calm down, take a seat, and tell me a little bit more about that dream of yours, okay? Yeah. Good. After dinner with Lavinia, I went to my usual bar, where I had a few drinks too many, and I passed out on the table. The bartender came in and found me in the morning. That's about it. And that's when you had the dream about the woman? As weird as it sounds. But the really strange thing is... Yes, what? She paid my rent. Just like she said in the dream. You mean the woman in your dream actually paid your rent? I'm quite confident the hotel manager will confirm it. I guess I've heard quite enough. Miss Bain, if you uh, remember anything that is actually helpful, give me a call, won't you? Thank you, Officer McCarthy. It's been a pleasure. How can I help you, officer? McCarthy. Captain McCarthy. Oh, uh, well, how can I help you, Captain McCarthy? I'd like to know if you recognize the woman in this photo. Yeah, of course, yeah. She's a, she's a woman who came to pay Mr. Bain's rent. Yeah, she paid in cash, six months in advance. Are you sure that's the woman? Yeah, you know, hey, we don't get that many pretty faces around here. I mean, I mean, I'm as sure as a man can be, you know. I bet you're so sure you can also tell me what time she came by. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was uh, last night, shortly after 10 p.m. Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I was watching television and uh, having a beer when this <laughs> gorgeous woman shows up at my door. I mean, I mean, you can't believe it. How, how... That'll, that'll do. What? Listen, um, if you remember or see anything out of the ordinary, give me a call, would you? Yeah. Okay, Captain. Thanks. So who did this guy McCarthy say he worked with again? Let me see.
Yeah, MacArthur here. Captain, uh, this is Mr. Bain, Alistair Bain. Look, I'm sorry to disturb you, but uh, I may be onto something. Okay, okay, hold, hold on, slow down. Listen, Mr. Bain, are you on some kind of medication or something? No, 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 I'm not on drugs. I, I just think I have something. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? You know, I've been writing about all this stuff, and it's provided an inspiration that I've been trying to find for a long time now. Okay, okay, cut the crap. What do you got? Hmm? Look, I might know who's behind all this. Uh, yeah? The dead woman is the wife of Senator Mitchell, who's up for re-election, right? <laughs> yeah, so? So, so, so what happens if she knew something about her husband or one of his associates that was so incriminating that the only way to stay in the race was to take her out, so to speak? And can we really be sure that the dead woman and the woman I met are one and the same. At least we know that one of them was alive and real, otherwise she couldn't have paid my rent. Oh, come on. You called me here to tell me this? Look, man, unless you got some hard facts, you might as well forget about it. Well, maybe I do have some hard facts. Oh, come on. You, you're trying to be funny with me again? Huh? Look, if you got something concrete, you tell me. Tell me now, and maybe we can do something about it. Captain, I'm sorry, but you asked me to call you if something came up. I just wanted you to know in case something happened to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got something or not. Plain and simple. I'll let you know. Lavinia. Uh, no, I'm her roommate. She's not here. Uh, look, do you have any idea where she might be? This is very important. May I ask who's calling? Yes, this is Mr. Bain. Alistair Bain. The writer, of course. Um, I'm not sure. I think she's still in class, but should be back soon. Can I take a message? Yes, like I said, this is urgent. Um, look, I can be there in about 20 minutes. Uh, can you ask her to wait for me, please? Sure, I will. Okay, great. And where exactly can I find you? It's Reaper Hall, 7 North, room 781. Okay, thanks. I'm on my way. I've been waiting for you for over an hour. I'm terribly sorry. The traffic. Look, I know you must be shaken, but I need to talk to you. I confirmed your alibi with Captain McCarthy. Let's go somewhere quieter. Uh, 
I don't want to get you in any trouble. But you're the only person I can trust in case, um... In case what? In case something happens to me. Something happens to you? Did McCarthy tell you about the phone call? No. The dead woman, the wife of Senator Mitchell. Yeah. She called me and left a message right before she was murdered. I only found out about it the other day from McCarthy. She called you? It was on my machine. What did the message say? That I was in danger and something unintelligible about being dreamers or dreams. And the hotel manager, he confirmed they recognized the woman in the photograph as the one who paid my rent after she was supposedly murdered. Supposedly murdered? She's either dead or alive, isn't she? Yeah, I guess Let's so. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't heard the best part yet. I don't know if I want to know this. Found it in my room. Slipped under the door. Does McCarthy know about this? The letter, no. Guess you have a lot to write about. Indeed I do. And quite a blessing from that point of view. So what's your theory? In a nutshell, I think Senator Mitchell or one of his associates murdered her because she knew something too important. Whoever did it now needs a patsy, a fall guy. And considering his position and the people he counts among his friends, that won't be a problem. Why wouldn't they just make her disappear quietly? I don't know. The starters is created a lot of confusion. A distraction, if you prefer. Yes. The meeting's tomorrow evening. Which means I have lots of time to write. It's the only thing I know how to do, and so far, it's proven to be quite insightful. The strange thing is, I think there's a synchronicity between my imagination and what's going on. Like I said, if something happens to me, I want you to take my story and make it public. What then? Look. Look into the story. If I'm correct, you'll find a solution there. Listen, I have to go. I have a lot of work to do. Mister? It's me, Lavinia. Uh, did I wake you? Yes. 
I'm glad you did. I need to see you. It's almost noon. Can you meet me at the corner of um, 3rd and Westmont? There's a coffee shop there. In half an hour? 3rd and Westmont. Half an hour. Do you think it's safe here? I guess. Alistair, you're the most paranoid man I've ever met. For my business. A little paranoia can keep you out of a lot of trouble. Is this your script? Sort of. It's what I've got so far. Murder, conspiracy theories, blackmail and everything. Wow. This looks great. Keep it. I made copies on the way. The part about the videotape, it's brilliant. He knows he's innocent, but the tape proves he did it. It's not only a gift. I want you to keep it in case something happens. Aren't you, aren't, aren't we taking this a little bit too seriously? Maybe the plot isn't entirely fiction. I have an ominous feeling about all this. So you really think you're supposed to be some sort of fall guy? Yes. And I do believe the senator's gonna make me some kind of offer. Look, I don't want you involved any more than you already are. Just keep it, in case something happens. You're the only person that takes me seriously. I have to get back to campus. I've got a class I can't miss. But be careful and promise me that you'll call me immediately afterwards. Okay. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Go ahead. You'll call me? about the 70s. 
senator who just happens to show up at your apartment. He did. I'm telling you the truth. Good evening, Mr. Bain. Is there something wrong with you? No. Would you be so kind as to invite me in? They stay outside. Please. Thank you. I'm not a man who likes to waste my time, so I'll get right to the point. Stay away from my wife. Are you threatening me? Yes, I guess you could say that. Also, you have something I want. And what exactly would that be? Don't play the fool with me. Okay. Let's play the game. I want the script you're writing. Or what? Listen, there are a lot of ways I could cut your balls off. Mm. But all I'm saying is, I want your script. And I'm willing to pay you good money for it. Certainly more than the studio. Why in the world would you want my script? If you need an answer to that, you're even dumber than I thought. Mm. Think it over. And if uh, money doesn't interest you, I'm sure this tape will. Uh, this is rather urgent. So don't take too long to make up your mind. I'm a bit impatient. I'm sorry to bother you. Is Lavinia here? I must speak to Lavinia. She's not here. What do you mean she's not here? I mean she's not here. You have any idea where she might be? This is important. I got no idea, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe you can help me. Me? Yeah, do you mind if I... Um... Sure. Come in. Is there some place where we can watch a videotape? You came here to watch a tape with Lavinia? Look, this is really complicated. So please, just answer the question. Sure. Lots of places. Like where? Well, fine one. Just chill out. I'm chilled! All right. Can you wait outside and I'll put something on? Oh, God.
You know, there's a thing called uh, computer and DVD, right? If you don't mind, I'm going to go back to, like, sleep. Oh, and if anybody asks, you don't know me, okay? Or, or anybody. Sit down. We need to talk. Sit down. The next time I have to pull this thing, it's gonna be with deadly results. You understand? Yes. I don't know how to tell you this, but your friend has been murdered. Emilia Lavinia? Yeah, I think that was her name, wasn't it? Oh. When? Tonight. A little while ago. Don't you think it's quite unusual that two women have been murdered in the last few days and they both have connections to you. Hmm? The last time I saw Lavinia was this afternoon. Well, that was the last time anyone ever saw her again. Alive, that is. But someone must have seen her. I'm sure they did, but the uh, surveillance tape is missing. Missing? Yep. Do you know where it is? No. If you have something to say to me, I suggest you do it now. Last time I tried to tell you something, you weren't very interested. More encouraging. Oh, you mean your grand conspiracy, right? You see? You're doing it again. Oh, oh, oh I'm so sorry. What's your new theory? Hmm? Someone's trying to frame me. Oh, please. That's exactly what I told Lavinia. She knew my theory. I gave her a copy of the script, just in case something happened. You mean to you? Yes, to me. You remember the message. I had no reason to believe she was in danger. You mean you still believe that the senator is somehow covering up the death of his own wife? Is that it? He's been here. Who, oh, the senator? He offered me money. For what? Do I have to spell it out for you? Oh, what? He offered you money for your script? Is that it? Yes. What part do you have a problem with? Huh. Let me see it. The script? Yeah, let me see the script. It may prove your innocence. It wouldn't. 
gonna come to light sooner or later. You know that, don't you? I guess so. How does it end? End? What? Your script. How does it end? I'm not sure. I hope that part hasn't been written yet. It's the only complete copy. Good to know. Don't worry. You'll get it back. And you gotta admit that it's gonna be much safer with me. Telling me that he urgently wanted to watch this videotape. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see it? Do you have any idea what was on it? No, I, I actually went back to bed and <clears throat> he didn't tell me anything. Uh huh. So you got it. Yes. And I know it's the only copy. That's a good job. <laughs> Who's there? What do you want? This is Alistair Bain. You left me a business card some time ago. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You can call me at... What happened next? Next? What happened next is your goons came and picked me up. Mr. Bain, are you inside? Mr. Bain, step outside, please. What's going on? Are you Alistair Bain? Yeah. I'm Detective Marino, my partner, Detective Brian. Mr. Bain, step over here. Step over here. Mr. Bain, you're under arrest for the murder of Lavinia Cordoba. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state. Do you understand these rights as I provided them to you? Yes. Mr. Bain, this is a search warrant. Before I go inside, is there anything inside that can hurt my partner or myself? No. Okay. Can I put something on? Sure. Follow me. I need your pants? Yeah. Don't touch anything. You gotta put these things on.
I already told you, there's no Captain McCarthy. But I spoke to him last night. How many times do I have to tell you? Hey, hey listen. We have enough evidence to put you right in the slammer. But for some reason, I want to give this weird story of yours a chance. Hey, this is definitely not one of ours. Maybe it's his private card. But he doesn't work for us, he doesn't work for the government. Maybe he works for some agency. Oh, just not go down that road, okay? Consider this fact. If indeed he worked for the agency, and you think you're the fall guy, how do you expect us to find out? So what do you guys make of this? I think the guy's full of shit. <gasps> yeah, crazy, the guy's nuts. Probably. I can't quite figure it out. I guess no one has ever heard of this guy. Captain McCarthy, homicide unit. Bones disconnected. Crazy, like I said. Here, listen to this if you don't believe me. This is Alice Bain. You left me a business card some time ago. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You can call me at... It doesn't sound particularly weird to me. We found it on his answering machine. You mean? Yeah, you got it. Seriously, seriously. What time is it? Midnight, and I'm gonna take a break. What about the script? What script? When you found Lavinia's body, was there a script with her? A script? A script. A book, pages, paper. What's wrong? 